Hi guys. Hi, uh, we're One Two Three Migration. Uh, my name is Nicholas and Catherine. Catherine, we are registered migration agents uh, in Australia, and we provide visa advice for obviously anyone doing a visa. But we're also education agents, so we help people do their student visas and things like that, and we can help you enrol in your course. Um, as well as uh, look at other options for you. Um, just wanted to uh, talk about uh, studies and if you're thinking about studying in Australia then it's always good to think about your possibilities and the opportunities that you, you may have in the future. Um, different states in Australia uh, can also provide different opportunities for students. So generally what we do is firstly figure out what, what your educational history is, correct? Yeah, but uh, keep in mind we're talking about if you want to look for permanent options after your study. So we could kind of advise you how to do it if, if it's possible. Yeah, that's right, because um, the, not all courses uh, provide a pathway. Uh, at the moment, um, we there, there's... I guess the working visas that you can apply for once you have completed your studies, uh, you may be able to apply for something like a graduate visa. That's really a good working visa for students once they finish. But you have to have studied for at least two years in Australia uh, in a university. Uh, so a university course, a bachelor's or a master's or higher. And also, um, you may have an opportunity for a graduate visa if you study for an occupation that is in uh, high demand here in Australia. So they're really the two, two types. They're generally technical courses, yeah? Yeah, like cooking, carpenter, uh, plumber, uh, construction, so, can, all those kind of... Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's... there's um, yeah, generally construction and... Yeah. and uh, technical people. You know, it, it's also very important that you get the right course. It's very important that the course offers you a little bit of practical experience. Uh, so, you know, all of these things, you know, we take into consideration. Uh, we'd also, if you're interested in doing an independent visa, you, you need a really good English, but we would also recommend that you have a look at uh, your alternatives because you might have alternatives if you have really good English. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the best place to go though is a migration agent like ourselves. Yeah, and yeah, do it with time before, if you can do it before even studying, studying your course would be better so you kind of know what the options are and not after uh, when you find out that the course didn't uh, work out. And... Yeah, just, just so that you know while we touch on it, education agents are different from migration agents. So education agents in Australia um, are not allowed, it's actually illegal for education agents to give you any visa advice. Yeah. Um, they're, they're not allowed and please don't take any uh, visa advice or pathway advice from an education agent. It's a recipe for disaster. We have a lot of uh, clients that, that come in after their course and they're not eligible. So um, just keep that in mind, ask a migration agent uh, and make sure that your migration agent is registered and you can do that online I'll, I'll um, put a link in yeah, we registered yeah and, and then uh, yeah you can go from there but uh, by all means get in contact with us uh, we're here to help you and we, we can help you with kind of graduate visa or a, a permanent visa pathway in in some cases so um, uh, just just looking at uh, getting you the, the best opportunities that uh, that are possible yeah all right, so, that's it. Yeah, I hope that helps. Yeah, okay. Thanks, guys. Bye, See you guys. later. Bye.